going to do our basic strength uh, training. So we're going to start off with our warm up and um, we'll get warmed up. And then what you're going to need is a chair and your weights. If you have just one set of weights, just bring them. Or if you have a lighter and a heavier, go ahead and grab them. And make sure that the weights aren't anywhere around. We're going to start doing our stretching series, so we're going to be moving a little bit. So just make sure the floor is clear around you. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Just go ahead and take your right foot and step it forward and reach up to the sky and come on back. And the back heel can be lifted. And reach up and come on back. And reach up and come on back up and come on back and then we're going to go ahead and do the other side we'll do everything like five times two three four and five and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to step back and come back up back two three four and five, that front leg, you try to keep it straight so that you can give it a nice stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna go side to side. So again, make sure that there's nothing to your side and you're gonna step out with the right and arms go to the left. So one, and try to get a nice bend in your side. Three, a lot of us are tight here. Four and five. And then we're going to go the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do a little crossover. So you're going to step the right foot over to the left and the arms. So it's a little bit more of a side bend. Two, three, four and five and then the other side one two three four and five good bring your arms down now we're going to rotate you're going to step around to the back and this foot here in the front it's like, I always tell people, it's like it's super glued. You want to keep those toes pointed forward. You want to try to take your eyes with your hands. It'll give you more of a twist. And then come back. And we're going to step out the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Right? And then... We're going to step kind of forward and around. Again, that one foot stays super glued. So one, two, three, four, and five. Come back to center. And one, two, three, four. And five. Good. So that's the warm up. So we've warmed up our shoulders, our trunk, our hips, our knees, and our ankles. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the lighter weight. I'm just going to shift over a little bit. So I'm kind of more centered in your screen here. So go ahead and grab your lighter weights. We're going to work your shoulders and we're going to do everything 12 times. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to stand up and we're going to work lower body. So you're going to do a squat. So you're going to come down to your chair and stand back up. You don't actually have to sit all the way down, but if you can touch it onto the chair, that's a good indication that you're going nice and low. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Good. All right. The next is going to be a bicep curl. And um, I'm going to go a little heavier. You can certainly stick to the lighter ones. But usually the biceps are pretty, pretty strong. So bring it up. One, two, three, four. And if you notice, I have a little rotation to that. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And you can go ahead and stick with the heavier weights if you have them. Next, we're working the legs, and we're actually working the glutes, the big muscle back here. So what you want to do is you want to hinge over, keep your back nice and straight, and stand back up. So the goal isn't to dump all the way down to the ground. It's to come, actually have to stop, and then squeeze back up, all right? So we'll call this one, two, three. So stare straight at the ground, four, and then look straight ahead, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12. Good. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work um, your back. It's a pretty big muscle back there, so you can stick with that heavier weight. And the whole idea is to be hinged over. You don't necessarily have to have your leg up, um, but if that feels better to you, you can. Um, you can just hold on to your chair and hinge over however you want to do it. You can even put one leg up. But for today, I'm just gonna keep one hand here. And you wanna go ahead, let me show you what you're gonna do, and then I'd like you to get in the right position with your head down. So you're just gonna pull it up. I always say this is the lawnmower. So it's just like pulling it up with the lawnmower, okay? So get yourself in position, but just don't stare at the screen. You can listen to me talk to you, but I want you to keep your head straight down. Okay, and here we go. We're pulling it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. And then if you want to walk around to the other side, you can do that, or you can just shift it, but we're going to go ahead and do the other arm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, good. For this next one, you don't um, need any weights at all. You're just going to use your chair um, for support. Um, but we're working kind of the hamstrings and the legs. So you're going to go ahead and bend that up and down. So just bring it up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. All right. Now we're going to go to our tricep kickbacks. So you may want to get a um, smaller weight here. And again, we're gonna hinge over like we did back for our back muscle. But what I want you to do is to take your elbow and kind of glue it right to your side. And you're just gonna bend the elbow and straighten the elbow. Again, this is another one where I want you staring straight down. So just see what I'm gonna be doing. You're gonna be hinged over and press back, all right? 
And then go ahead and just look straight down. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. And now, of course, we need to do the other side. So get yourself into position, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. All right. Next, we're going to sit back down in the chair, and you don't need any weights for this one either. And you're just going to sit on the edge of the chair. You're not going to have your back against the chair and you can just kind of put your hands on your hips. You want to stay sitting up nice and tall. You don't want to drop and, and hunch over, but sit up nice and tall and just go ahead and lift up that right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. All right. The next is your chest press. So you can go ahead and get down onto the floor. And it's always a good exercise just to get yourself down on the floor and back up. So um, I'm just going to push things back here so that you can see me. So take a moment and watch what you're going to be doing and then you can get yourself down on the floor. And, okay, so you're going to lay on your back and you're going to have your knees bent and all you're going to do is you're going to have it here and press up to the sky and down. All right, so go ahead and take a moment and bring yourself down onto the ground and grab your weights. And it's a good idea to bend your knees. It takes some pressure off your lower back. Okay, and so you're just going to start with um, the weights are going to be, um, your palms are going to be facing towards your feet and uh, the weights will be lined up and then you're just going to press up to the sky. So down. And up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? And then you need to get yourself back up. And while you're getting up, I will give you a other option if you find getting down onto the ground and back up is a little tough for you. You can sit in the chair and get, grab your lighter weights and what all you're going to do is you're going to bring your elbows in and go out and you would do that for 12. It works your chest muscles. It works a little bit more shoulder than chest um, so laying down is better but if that um, if you don't feel like doing that that's another option. So the last thing we have is the lower body and it's just going to be for the calves. It's a good balance thing. Hold on to your weights. It can be your light ones or your heavier ones. And you're just going to lift your heels up and down. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Good. So that was your whole strength training. It was upper body and lower body. Um, so I'm going to run through it one more time with you because um, a couple of the leg things, instead of having the leg bent, we're going to do it with a straight leg. So it gives you, it hits the muscles a little bit differently. So if you need to grab um, a sip of water, now would be a great time before we move on 
to the second one. Okay. And you can always pause your video at any time. So we're going back with the shoulders. So remember, we're going to be sitting in our chair, grabbing the lighter weights and pressing up for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Next, we're going to be doing our squats. I'm going to grab my heavier weights. You can certainly stick with the lighter ones if you want, but this is the one where we almost sit down on the chair and then stand back up. So down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Back to the upper body. You can still hold on to the heavier weights if you wish. And we're coming up and down for biceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Back to the lower body. This is the deadlift where you want to keep that nice straight back. So it's looking down at the floor and standing back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. Now we're moving on to that big muscle in the back, so you can again can have a heavier weight, and however you choose to bend over, um, you can have your foot up or your knee up if you'd like. Or just go ahead and simply hinge over, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Next, we're going to move on to the other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Now you can go ahead and put your weights down. We're moving in to the lower body. And we're going to have your chair here. And if you remember last time we bent the knee, this time you're going to straighten it out and kind of like an arabesque, you're just going to lift it up. So it's a small movement, but it's going to work the back side of the leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you want to try to keep your hips square to the chair. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. And now we're going to your triceps. So grab your lighter weight. It's a smaller muscle in the back of your arm. You're going to be hinged over like you were for your back, your lat muscle. And I'll show you again. You want to keep that elbow glued to the side and press straight back. So bend the elbow and straighten the elbow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. And go ahead and switch sides. And bend that elbow and straighten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. And it's time to sit back in your chair without any weights. And this time again, we're going to have our legs be straight. I'll turn a little bit to the side. But again, you want to sit up nice and tall. You're going to straighten one leg out. You're going to have your hands on the side of the chair and just simple lift up and down. One, two, three. Keep your torso nice and tall. Five, six. Toes are pointed to the sky. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Straighten the other leg, toe pointed to the sky, sit up nice and tall, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. All right, we're back to those chest presses. Remember, you have the option of staying in your chair and just making like goal post arms and just bringing those elbows in and coming out. That is an option. Or if you're feeling okay, you get all the way down the floor. You're just going to lay down onto your back and grab probably your heavier weights if you can. And you're just going to press up to the sky. So take it down, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. And now we're gonna get back up. So take your time. And bring yourself back up to standing. And you're going to go ahead and grab two weights again. We just have our calves to do. And if you remember, it's just bringing those heels up. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Good. All right, next we're going to be moving to our cool down stretches. No weights are needed. And I'm just going to run through this a little quick. If you want to take your time and really get some nice stretches, you certainly can take your time. But this is just a review so that you can follow along with your paper copy that um, I've given you. So the first one is just a tricep stretch. So you're going to raise one arm up to the sky and bend the elbow. I like to take the other hand and kind of add to that stretch, kind of press it to the back behind me a little bit. And you're going to do that. And usually it's a good idea to hold it like 15 seconds if you have the time. And then you're going to go ahead and do the other side. And then you're going to go ahead and take it across the chest and be, make sure that you have this arm down here. You don't want it like way up here. You can just take it across. And of course you want to do both sides. And then next you're going to go ahead and interlace your hands behind you. And you want to go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blades. So this is really nice for opening up the chest. And then the next are going to be for the lower body. So you can go ahead and set the right foot in front, 
left foot to the back. Make sure the left heel is down. It's the left calf that you're stretching. And then you're going to bring your arms up and back to again open up the front of the body. And this front knee is bent. And then bring both feet together. Step it back. Press that right heel back and bring it up to the sky. And next you're going to stretch the hamstring back here. So you're going to extend the right leg in front. You can bend the left knee and kind of tip the pelvis forward. Toe can be pointed to the sky. You can go ahead and get yourself all the way down there. Or you can just rest your hands up here on the thigh. But you should feel a little pull in the back of the leg. And then stand up nice and tall. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Stand up next. You're going to stretch the quadriceps. And if you want to have your chair nearby, you're going to try to grab hold of your ankle. If this is challenging for you, perhaps if you have a knee problem or something, you can go ahead and just put that foot up on the chair. So what you're trying to do is stretch out the front of that leg. And then you're going to go ahead to the other side again. And if you want to stay away from the wall or your chair and give yourself a little balance challenge, you can do that. Or again, if you just want to go ahead and just put your foot up on the chair, that is another option for you as well. Okay. And next we're going to work kind of the shoulder area. So you're going to bend your knees and take the right shoulder down towards the left knee. And go ahead and take the left shoulder down to the right knee. This is one of my favorites, so I usually end up doing this one twice on each side. But then when I'm done, I always bring myself to center and roll it up. So it's almost like you want to bring that spine back into alignment. Next we're going to work just on a side bend. So you're going to raise your right arm and just tip yourself over to your left. And then come back up and go ahead and switch to the other side. And bring it down. And next is your neck. So you're going to go ahead and bring your chin down to your chest. And then you're going to go ahead and take and look up at the sky. And go ahead and bring the chin back down. And then back up. And then you're going to bring yourself back. And then you're going to look to your right. Look to your left. And back to your right. And back to your left. Good. And if you want to stop here as far as your stretches, that's great. If you want a little bit more stretch, we're going to do three down on the ground. But these are just optional if you want a little bit extra relaxation, a little extra stretch. Um, the first one is known as reclining pigeon pose in yoga. But you're going to be on your back, your knees are bent, and you're going to go ahead and take the right ankle on top of the left thigh and you can just hold it here or some people like to go ahead and bring that left knee towards the chest so whatever works for you and take it down and then go ahead and switch sides again you can just hold it here or you can go ahead and bring it all the way up And then the next is a twisting, twisting stretch. So you can bring your arms out like a big T, palms are down to the ground for support. You can bring your knees up to the chest and then drop everything over to the right. And you can use your right hand and place it on the outside of the left thigh if you like and take your gaze over to the left for a deeper stretch. 
and then come back to center and then go to the other side. If this seems difficult to you, one thing you can do is have one leg be straight and then the other leg just goes over to the other side. And if you can't fully bend the knee, you can just go ahead and just gently, just, you're trying to twist your torso and your hips a little bit. And always try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground. And then the last is as you go ahead and you put the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out. This opens up the front of the hips. And what I like to do is also bring and do those goal post type arms that we did before with your palms facing the sky. And this really opens up into the shoulder area. So there you go, a nice, quick, not super quick, but it, you got to do your whole body and um, you went through it twice and that's great. So thanks for giving it a try.